Welcome to our renovation. If you are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Mandy. I have a blog called Vintage Revivals. For the last seven years, I have documented tutorials and projects and renovations. My projects have progressively gotten larger and more intense. Today, we are starting on our biggest project yet. Welcome to the Merc. The Merc is a 100 year old mercantile store that my husband and I just bought that we are renovating and turning into our house. I'm really excited to get started and I hope that you guys will subscribe and follow along to see what the heck a renovation of this magnitude actually looks like. How we're wrangling all three of our children, not getting a divorce, you know, all of the simple things in life. For the last nine months, we have been working on getting everything ready for this renovation. We have gone through so much to get to this point today. If you wanna check out all of the goodness that you've missed, I have it all blogged. So I will link it down below. You can hop over to Vintage Revivals and get caught up so that you understand just how amazing this building is. So today is day one. Number one, da -da -da. figuring out the order of all of this has been just completely blowing my mind. So first person that we're meeting with is the plumber. So we're about uh, 30 minutes into the renovation at the Merc and things are already going askew. Based on some drawings that were like very rough, we thought that the water line went along the side of the building in the front of the parking lot. And so we're trying to figure out plumbing and come to find out it does not do that. It runs all the way across the parking lot and into the neighbor's property. And so, I don't know. It's gonna be great, guys. <laughs> Demo is always great because you can see the work that you've done. We have this massive pile of stuff. So one thing that we knew that was gonna happen is once we started getting into the walls, we'd be able to actually see what we were up against. And I'm feeling a little bit sad right now because of this. This is one of the quirky things that we have to work around. This little teeny doorway and this is a main hallway it's like a main thoroughfare to get from our back door which is right here through the laundry room and then you go through this hallway to get to the rest of the house i just i i had really high hopes that we'd be able to expand it and make it bigger easily um but as you can see it is concrete block on either side and then the worst part is up top because I mean the hall like the doorway opening is maybe six feet tall it's very teeny um, so we have cracking concrete and then this is a steel beam that's holding it all together so I don't know exactly how we're gonna make this work um, I don't know what we should talk to the contractor and see what our options are because obviously we can't have like the whole side of the building falling down but we also can't have this little six foot by three foot opening like the main for the main part of our hallway so lots to think about lots to think about but look at how great this is i couldn't even get a great before of this space because there was a wall like right here so it's kind of hard to show everyone the layout, but we got two bathrooms demoed. This is like our main back door. So feeling pretty good. Framer came out and chalked all the lines for the walls, which is so fun because we can actually see what the layout of the house is. Right now we're standing in a bedroom. There's another bedroom right here. Our office is right here. This area is our theater room. This is like our main bathroom. A little half bath right here, and this is all hallway. It's just really fun to actually see the layout and be able to walk through it. All right, you guys, so we are at the end of day one. Merc renovation. Done. Done, we survived. I mean, I survived. Court definitely is damaged goods right now. 
He got hit by a two by four. I did get hit by a two by four. <laughs> Here's what we discovered. Our plumbing situation, which we already knew was extremely complicated, is actually even more complicated. Um, the sewer line that we thought ran parallel to the Merc actually runs... It runs parallel, it just does, about yeah, 50 feet further out. It runs parallel through the next door neighbor's driveway. So... So now we have to cut through the parking pavement. lot to tie into that sewer line, which sucks. So, problem number one we found. Number two, Haba hallway. So, we demoed it today just to see what was underneath the sheetrock, and it's not good. It's the whole wall is completely falling apart underneath. So I don't know Not that crumbling, it's just, no, it's separated. just separated. So pretty, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably one of the bigger issues than the Haba hallway. Yeah, we knew that there was some foundation settling, but we have not yet demoed the floor where the settling is. So Which we don't will know be, how that looks. that'll be soon, day two yeah. or three. We, didn't, we don't have a dumpster, and so all of the trash went into that bedroom. So I was really excited to look underneath it. I'm picturing kind of Land of the Lost scenario, like cavernous space, dinosaurs, living in the Land of the Lost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Next problem, water damage. Oh yes. So, so as they're pulling all this stuff off, you can just see where they just... So much water damage. Lesson from today is we're learning all, we're getting everything down to the, the bare minimum so yes. we can see exactly we're what's wrong. We're having an open, honest conversation with the Merc. And I and she's winning right now. <laughs> she's got a lot of issues that she's unloading onto us. I'm feeling good about it. I didn't think it'd be any. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's not issues. anything worse than I thought. Right. And the thing is, is once you can see it, you can fix it. We're gonna go home, take a shower, get this little guy some ibuprofen. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you guys can follow along with the series. Are we gonna shower together? Time. Let's go get snow cones. No. I'm going to get a snow cone. All right, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows what treasures tomorrow is going to hold?